What's up guys, Computer Wise Guy here, and yeah, I have opened the new channel, as mainly so I can get back into PC, and yeah, do any more stuff. Currently I'm using Windows XP, I just put a dock here, since you know, a dock is more organised, and I can find my programs easier. So yeah, this is my channel, check out the future videos that I'm going to do, so yeah. Today we're going to be applying the rain effect in Sony Vegas on any clip. I mainly use it for video game purposes. So I'll drag a clip in from Call of Duty. There you go. So I'm just going to take my little clip here. Take it in. The quality over here is not going to be at its max. Because when I put it in widescreen, the quality messes up. I have no idea why. But yeah. So I'm just going to cut it all the way here. It S is to cut by the way. It, I didn't know that in when I got this program until my friend told me. So you can see some ugly buttons here. To get rid of those, pan and crop it. Make this smaller and drag it to the end. And there we go. All sorted. So now what we want to do is go to media generators. Click on the noise texture. And you'll see if you go all the way down you find... <sighs> I'm sorry. It's a starry sky. Just drag on top and resize it to how long your clip is or how long you want it to be. Now it's all yellow and it's blocked out the video below. We can do that or we can fix that by just dragging this all the way to the right. It's making it white. Dragging this down for transparency so you can see the other video behind it. Below it. So now it just looks like a bunch of snow. To fix that we need to change the frequency of the x axis. We need to change it to 23. Just to keep it moving. And we need to change this to 0 0.1, 0 0.01, yeah. So this song will make it look a bit more like rain. Let us change it to 15, yeah, like that. 0 point, no, 0 0.15. Right, so the offset now we need to change this. Now make sure your timeline's at the beginning because we need to change this to 0 0.9. 0 0.9, and dragging it all the way to the right. And change it back to zero. This will keep the clip uh, so it looks like rain is moving. Now, all, this does not look realistic yet, so we need to put some more stuff onto it. So, the opacity here, we need to drag it a bit down because rain, uh, you're walking down the street, I don't think you see rain like that. You mainly see through rain because it's water. So, just drag it a bit down. Yeah, that looks alright. Now, I have never seen rain like the sky all bright and stuff. So, to fix that, just go on video effects, go on color, um, color curves. I mainly choose the night one. It looks a bit too dark, but don't worry about that. Alright, just put those down. After this, choose the color corrector. Put it here, put it on the clip, and just bump this up a bit more. Put this down, put the saturation up a bit, and bump this up a bit. Yeah, so the gamma saturation's almost next to each other, well, right under each other. The gain is 1.7, and the offset is minus 4.8. You can see it hopefully. And that's 1.722 just in case you cannot see it so yeah that's that's all it is so let me just like fade these two in if I fade it in or to make it more realistic just make this a bit smaller and rotate it a bit so it's moving to the right. So it looks like the wind's pushing it also, like that. And there we go, that's that's basically it. It's like my first video on this channel, so yeah. Tell me what you think and hopefully this will help you out.